Every time I mention the word zoo, I get more hate mail than you'd imagine. Negative comments. People telling me that animals only belong in their natural habitat. Don't get me wrong. I'm against the poor treatment of animals for human enjoyment, like attending elephant shows in Cambodia, petting drugged up tigers in Thailand, or forcing orcas to do tricks at SeaWorld. These things are horrible, but not every zoo is evil. Today, I'm here at the Naples Zoo in Florida, where I have the unique opportunity to meet with a special panther. This is Uno. He's five years old. Uno was blinded by a shotgun blast about four years ago. Those are all the babies. So when he was shot, I kind of scattered. Along with his friends and family, he's critically endangered. There are only a few hundred Florida Panthers left in existence. I met with Courtney, director of marketing at the zoo. Hi guys! And I asked her a few questions. So Courtney, how did you guys find Uno? So somebody else found him, a motorist found him out in the wild. So they called officials and they went out and they, they captured him and we were able to get him the uh, medical care that he needed. If you just had to put a number on it, how long do you think he would survive if you guys didn't find him? Um, I would say less than days. He was very, very unhealthy. He was just living off roadkill, so he wasn't going to make it much further. He had lost so much weight. He was down to less than 50 pounds and a normal cat should be at least 110 pounds, if not more. At Naples Zoo, Uno is now living in a rehabilitation facility for orphan or injured panthers. We do verbal cues with him because mm -hmm. he can't see anything, so that we just tell him treat and he knows that there's something for him. Uno is taken care of and protected by trained professionals. Hold down. Oh. So we have to um, flush out his eye with this saline solution, mm -hmm. and then we swab it out with some long Q-tips. This goes on his ears. It just keeps the flies off of his ears. Back in the 70s, there were only two dozen panthers alive. But thanks to conservation efforts like here at Naples Zoo, there are now about 200. So conservation is truly the heart of our mission, not only here for Florida Panthers, but all around the world. And since 2014, Naples Zoo has donated over a million dollars back to field conservation programs. Everybody that comes to our zoo that comes to visit, a portion of those proceeds goes back to conservation. And then when people come, that we can teach them about it. You know, having Uno here, because he's blind, he he can't go back into the wild, but he's such an awesome education opportunity for so many kids to learn about Florida Panthers and learn what they can do to save them. Like here, I have been to other zoos and shelters around the world where animals are being saved from injuries, abandonment, and illnesses. Like this cheetah in Victoria Falls, Zimbabwe, these tarsiers in Bohol, Philippines, and these koalas in Sydney, Australia. Places like these zoos are expanding public awareness and working together to save animals. So the next time you think negatively about zoos, try to remember the forward-thinking ones like Naples, who are making a difference in the world by protecting everyone inside of it. I'm Drew Binsky, and if you like my travel videos, please click subscribe and join me as I plan to visit every country in the world.